bananas, B A N A N A. Up this day is bananas, B A N A N A Yanas. Today we're going to be making banana pancakes with a little hint of apple spice because I love apple spice. So banana, apple spice, pancakes. Let's get started. Mm, mm, mm. So the first thing you'll need is one whole banana. Now if you're like me in a single household, you'll just need one banana. But if you have a trillion kids as eight, maybe six, two, if you have two, you're going to need at least three bananas because kids eat a lot. I know. I have five sisters. The next thing you'll be needing is apple spice apple pie spice to be exact it gives your meal such delight zang not zang it doesn't have a zang it has a sweet texture <laughs> not texture oh my gosh a sweet yummy spice I need to be more descriptive perfectly blended for sweet aromatic flavor <laughs> I'm just on this it's delicious. Anyways, we're gonna enjoy that. So let's toss that in there and get started. The next thing you'll need is pancake mix. Now, as you can see, this is ain't no Aunt Jemima mix, which I love. Don't no hate on Aunt Jemima, but I started using this Birch Blenders pancake mix, and it has there's different flavors. The one that I got was almonds, coconut, and monk fruit. It's gluten free, so for all my gluten fans out there. This is your mix, and there's no reason why you can't enjoy this meal with me. Good thing I clean my good thing I clean my dishes because you'll also be needing this a beautiful, nice mm, cutting board, and you'll also be needing this big old bowl to be mixing up your mixture. All right, you beautiful people. First, we're gonna open this banana. I open it that way. You can hate all you want, but that's the way you open it. Boop. Boom. Then. Once you're done with that, you're gonna chop your banana into slices. Now, some of you are probably wondering at home, wow, um, whatever Amber's on, I wanna be on that too. It's called life. <laughs> it's called loving your life. Okay, people. Oh God. Okay, once you're done cutting these bananas up, you're gonna toss them up in the bowl. Boom, boom, boom. My dogs love bananas. They're delicious. Okay, so after you have put your bananas in the bowl, you're not gonna wanna put three fourths of pancake mix into this. Three fourths of pancake mix will get you six to seven pancakes if that's what you're wanting. If you're wanting more because you're starving, the entire bag. All right. Now once you have done cutting up your bananas and putting your mix the three-fourths into the cup, you're going to want to get your bananas, you're going to want to get your mix, and you're going to want to just toss that in there. Beautiful. Next what you're going to want to do is don't forget about that apple spice. You're just going to want to put however much you want really. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not a fan of coconut and this mix has coconut in it so I'm just going to there. <laughs> Smells like Christmas. Yeah. Okay, so after that, the bat oh the dog treat bag. Where's my mat can I mix bag? Oh I put it in though. After that, you're gonna wanna put in two thirds of water. After you put your two-thirds in, you're just going to start mixing. What do I have to mix up here? This bad boy. 
just mix away. I really hope, there we go, look at all that. Now, I don't want my pancake mix to be watery, so I really hope that this comes out chunkier than what it's looking like. It's kind of looking like a, just, you see the, oh great, my button is stuck in here like a kid. Hmm. It's so far. Once you've done mixing, now what you're gonna to wanna to do is get a clean pan to start dipping this mix in. I will be adding oil to this pan. Olive oil, as you can see, we uh, move that around. Get it dripping. I love crunchy pancakes, so the more oil, the better. But is that healthy? No, it's not, but. <laughs> Look at that. Drip into my blood veins. <laughs> Now, another cool thing that I did was I put the mix into this because I love the little tip right here. It's easier to pour out my mix so I can have the perfect pancakes instead of just dumping it from the bowl where it doesn't have this to easily tell it where to go. <gasps> okay. All right, so now you're just gonna, oh, you're gonna wanna put on the... So for perfect pancakes, you're gonna wanna put it on medium. Over. Make your beautiful, uh, such a creation. It looks like poo poo on that camera, but it's beautiful. It's gonna look really chunky because of bananas. Don't worry about that. Ah, this looks too small. let this cook. Fun way to know if your pancakes are done is when they bubble at the top. So once it's bubbling at the top then you can flip it over because that's just showing that the air is coming out from the other side. So you're just gonna wait for that. So yeah. Well, when I was playing with my dogs, I let the pancakes sit on the oven. <laughs> they just came out so perfect. Just kidding. They really just came out like that. God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. God made burnt and burnt don't hurt. Okay, these are edible. They've got the crisp that I've wanted. I've asked, it gave me more than what I've wanted. Um, you know what guys, that's fine. If you can make golden pancakes, good for you. But for me, I can too. I just have a life and I have kids and I was busy playing with them. And this was the aftermath. Trying to taste one of these babies. That's actually really, really good. Oh, eat that for me, Bodie. Mmm. I love the edges. Mmm. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, let me do the other side. Yes. Mmm. The I don't even taste the coconut because of the banana. I love bananas. Mmm. Okay, well, I take back everything I said. I was crying. I'm upset that these were burnt. Blah, blah, blah. These are really good. But to be fair, I love burnt stuff, so. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, oh. Alright, guys. Thanks for coming to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm always grateful every day when you come back to see me. Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> the nerve. I'm so happy that we get to share this moment together. Like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Hey, I know this girl. And get out of the kitchen. Do you see me doing a YouTube channel? Do you see me use, do you see me? The nerve! Rah! That'll do.
little teacher. I made another one. It looks so good! Except for the middle piece because there's some thick banana pieces. But look at the goldenness. Either way, it's all edible. Really happy that you guys came today to make some banana pancakes with me. I really, really, really am thankful for you all staying tuned <laughs> to make pancakes. You would think that pancakes would have been my best quality, but obviously not. But either way, if you follow the recipe and you just stay by your pancakes, they won't be burnt and they'll be beautiful. Mm -hmm.